In this tutorial, we are going to see how to analyze and interpret 7-point Likert scale mean score or weighted mean score or overall mean score. To get started, a 7-point Likert scale is coded depending on its content from 1 corresponding to strongly disagree, 2 disagree, 3 somewhat disagree, 4 neutral, 5 somewhat agree, 6 agree, and finally 7 strongly agree or any other content, be it likelihood, a frequency, among others. Then the 7-point Likert scale has a range from uh, 1 to 7, so we take the highest value 7 minus 1, which is 6, and then the interval is 6 divided by 7, it gives us 0 0.85, so this is the interval that we use between each rank. For example, we have the lowest rank, which is 1, so we add 0.85, so 1 to, point, to 1.85, this gives us strongly disagree. Uh, for 2, we have 1.86 to 2.71, this gives us disagree. For uh, 3, from 2.71 to 3.56, this gives us somewhat disagree. For 4, from 3.57 to 4.43, this gives us neutral. And for 5, for uh, from 4.43 to 5.28, this gives us somewhat agree. And then for 6, from 5.29 to 6.13, this gives us agree. And finally, 7 from 6.14 to 7, this gives us strongly agree. So this is the mean score that we use. So it's the average of all values. This is uh, what gives us the overall mean score. So we sum all values and we divide them by the total number of cases or all values. And this is the interval that we explained earlier along with the verbal interpretation and the difference. You could see that biases there could be a little bit very minimum. And then we have Descriptive statistics table in EPA where you could just put the statements, their numbers, their mean scores, their standard deviations, their rank depending on the mean score as, uh, as well as their degree. And this is the reference in, in case you want to consult it with regard to the intervals and the ranges that we explained.